Hi guys, this is Andy M and today I am bringing you the box that just came out and that is uh, Body Fight Ace. I'll give you a better picture. Apologies on the quality I'm using my tablet as I misplaced my tripod and yeah, so this is the only way I can do it at the moment. So yeah, so we've got Body Fight Ace, like it says down in the corner. If I can, there we go. This represents basically the new series because it's now passed on to a new body fighter. If you haven't watched the TV series, and the box is called Gargantuan Awakened. Love the artwork. Sadly, it's not on any of the cards as far as I know of. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, but who knows. Uh, here's your primary world that it featured in this box, which is Dragon World, Star Dragon World, Ancient World, and Danger World. Now, that's my original deck I was working on. I do have the others. Uh, just give me a quick sec. Uh, I've got this one. Which is the spiral uh, link dragon order which is ancient world and as you can tell i'll just tilt it that is the double rare flag i managed to pull it so i've got that one it's not in shot so I'll give me a quick set i've got that one i've also got dragonity oh sorry can you to the oh, yeah. so i've got those two I do have the third one next to me, but as I'll quickly just show you, there it is, uh, Triangle Galaxy, and yeah, I didn't pull the flag for that one. So that's the third one based on that character. So I do have all three, which one's just decided to... Okay. Behave yourself, come on. Tell you what, it... If the card game was anything like the anime, I think the monsters would have said ouch on the end. So yeah, there's the three. As I try to show you. I'm trying to keep as the rest of the stuff out of the shot because basically the table needs to tidy out. So yeah. So I'm going to crack on with this. So I'll keep those in the shot. Now, I'm just going to apologize if this goes out of the shot. Yeah, that's not us. Um, I'm still I haven't made a video in a while, so and using the tablet, yeah. Okay, let's open this up. Um, So there we go. Of course, you get the flyer which advertises everything else that's on the thing. And just to state, yes, you can get the whole lot on YouTube. So you got the new Kangard the Card Fight Vanguard, Buzzy Fight Ace, and then some other advertisement off to show you off. You'll see in other videos online. So here's our promo card. I'll just have a quick look at it off camera so I can read it. A bad effect. Um, so that's the pitch. So I'll have to try and. So yeah, uh, sorry, it's not all on. There we are. So it's T Dragon Illusory Ice Blade. I think I said that wrong. So you gotta have a drag gog on the field. Still getting used to the new names and stuff. And it's a counter, so destroy a monster on your opponent's field and if you do, deal one damage to your opponent. That's not a bad effect, if especially if your opponent summons a monster that that you were like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to survive that. Boom, activate this, gone. 
especially with some of the uh, higher level monsters because as you can tell it doesn't state what size the monster has to be so I might put that in and so just as to uh, throw, throw off the player now what I'll do to make this easier on me is just take the cards out of the box I know people might say that's a bad thing but I don't have much room on the bottom okay right let's see if I can get uh, comfortable okay like I said apologies if it goes off to, uh, out of shot Let's see what the first pack is and just to prove I am holding it see I am opening it okay wicked giant thank you I can't pronounce his name trash odds trash odds yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not interested in the danger world cards it fingers on the way again. Guard that. Okay. Oh, zero count over it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ooh. I like the look of this card. God, Seer, Dragon, Ghoul, Bend. Nice. Nice. Apologies if my fingers get in the way. I'm looks like I'm still trying to get used to this. And I'm um, not exactly comfortable. In the, uh, doing this, uh, uh, some giant spell card. Oh, it's already too. Okay, I'll check that out afterwards. Astro Dragons. Ooh, I'm happy I got this card because this one was featured in the show. Card does. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it is a it's a, a dragon dog. Don't ask. Uh, when this card enters the field, if you have another Dirty Dragon Tribe on the field, put the top two cards from your deck into your bank. And that's a size one. 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 1, 1,000, 2. Crit. That's not a bad card. Well, there. That is not a bad card. I'll be definitely putting that into the deck. If I can, more than one copy. Because you need to stock up on gauge for certain effects. Beard orders before, yeah, apologies on my keeping it. Some people do, might be watching. I've never seen it, so. God break. Dragon Barrier. Uh, bus Rage Man, and that one's a reprint. Uh, don't quote me on that. So we've got a shiny version of the uh, item card we just had. And then we've got the uh, wep main weapon of the um, Ancient World user. I can't remember his name. So, yep, I'm happy about that. And another junk card to do with uh, Danger World and when I mean junk I mean it actually says it on the name Junk Wheels ok so again in that set it was more the common to interest in not the rare <laughs> we'll get that sometimes so long as the double rares and triple rares aren't Danger World I'm happy Ooh. Another card from the show. God, see a dragon first. That is. Wild Gardener. Nice. I think. Okay, I'm not even going to that name, but yeah, another one from the show. Uh, and then we've got the Sky Bad Jacket. 
and the ah oh, nice ah oh, sweet I haven't got one of these before it is a AR rarity um let me have a quick look at the box to find out what the AR stands for Ace Rare nice I've not pulled one of these this is my first box and I pulled an Ace Rare uh, Thunder Axe so, oh, that is nice. I am happy about that. That is brilliant. I might use that as my buddy um, if it's like saying one that's already in the deck. So, yeah, sort of off the back. So, that is nice. Oh, I just saw we got another shiny, and sadly it's not the one I'll use. Uh, okay. Now that's been printed multiple times. Don't know. Grimoire. I think it's actually in the trial deck. Ooh. J Star Saver for Jackknife. Okay. And. Grass out, die pan, double air. I tell you what, if I get enough of these, uh, I think they're called God Pump. Yeah, in the corner, God Pump cards. I might be on the deck just to sell it as a deck because, and I'm saying deck, not on a word. People for the fact is. I've gone off the world, it's nice for me it used to be. Especially that the fact is ages since we've had some decent effect uh, cards or decks. Uh, uh, ooh, okay. I think I've got this card. Guard bird, as you can read. All Deity Dragon Tribes on the field get 3000 and that is a good effect and this card has Soul Guard you know it's a grade 1 but I don't know what to do Pump Sage again oh nice this one's actually on the box it's Governor Star Dragon Fleet Oh geez, I'm doing all the guarding. That's quite nice. Well, I'm almost only trying to build well, these two decks, but if I get enough Star Dragon World cards, I might work on the third one. Third one being maybe try, try it. <laughs> My tongue is tied. Basically, if I get enough cards, I might upgrade this deck, might not. See what it's for. Now we're back to the cards. And now, we, you know what, I'll do it like that. So you can read it. Jack. No bones. Don't know. If I get any, oh, I've got a no guard bird. Unity Link Dragon Order. Oop, I just dropped my high rarity. Come back here. Try to escape me. Oh, I've just seen this and it's nice and I'm happy I've got one. Seer Fight Dragon Archon All. It's a bit of a mouthful, but. Is a fact if you can read it. Play it to gauge and put the top card of your deck into the soul, the top soul guard. If you have an astral dragon on your center, this card size on the left or right is reduced by three, making it a zero card. 
When this enters the field, if you have a dra Astral Dragon item equipped, uh, destroy a card on your opponent's shield. So you not only can you destroy a card while equipped with an item, but it becomes a size 2 when you summon another Astral Dragon to the field. And it has double attack, and it's a 7,000. 5,002. That is a brilliant card. Question is, will be a pricey card? Okay, so what I'm doing last time. One old card now. Ooh. Okay. Give me a sec, guys. That's odd. I can I managed to pull two R's in one pack. I've never seen that done before. And it's a good one. Dirty Gargantuan Punisher. And that's an R. So, is that a mistake? Who knows? Okay, but I'm happy I've got that because I need one. Force return. And then, heavy striker. I apologize for that saying the full name because some of these names are really awkward to say. So. Oh, I have to see it. I think that is a bloody rare. I'm not that I look and what it is properly. So, well, Babylon. And um, I can't even pronounce that name. Sorry. Another one of those, which I'm not interested in. Maybe uh, right. It's not a body wear, it's a triple wear and then one I was hoping to pull. Gargantuan Dragon Sonic Mode. This card is brilliant. This card on the field cannot be returned to the hand and its and its ability cannot be nullified. On your opponent's effect, which straight away is cool. When this card enters the field, you may pay two life. Then, if it no, you gain. Sorry, if it enters the field, you gain two life. Then, if it enters by GFO effect, draw two cards. And it has move, counter attack, and soul guard. That is definitely going on my deck. Sorry, there's a bunch of camera. I love the uh, new concept they've got with the new character. Sorry, new buddy. He's just absolutely brilliant. So I've got that one. I'm not going to read all of these off because some of them are really hard. Okay. And I've just bought another double R. Gar Oracle. Uh, you may only activate if you got a Dirty Dragon Tribe on the field. Play one gauge, draw two cards, and if you have a Dragon Heart on the field, you gain two life. Nice! That's definitely going in the deck. The fact is, you gain two, uh, two life and draw two cards. That is brilliant. And the good thing is, it, it doesn't mean you have to have the body on the field. So long as it is a dragon. No. Uh, you need a dragon. Dirty dragon tribe on the field. 
But if you have a dragon god, drag god, so I say, you gain that additional effect, which is easier to do. Apologies if my words are a bit tongue tied. My parry. Uh, 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 and draw a card. Oh, that's good. If instead of using the dragon shield, and I've got a rare, which I've definitely needed. Impact, thunder dragon tornado. Sweet. I need a couple more copies of that card. Because anyone who collects body fight and knows about it, the impact cards they give you aren't as brilliant as they should be. So you have to get the good ones from the packs. And if you do play body forms, uh, say in the uh, description below which one you think is the weakest trial deck. For me, I think the weakest one is the um, Star Dragon World one, the Triangulum Galaxy, if I can pronounce it right. But other people say it's the Dragon Sea deck. So we'll see. And I continue it. Impact. Top this punishment. Apologies, that's my phone. Burst Fist. Not bad. Impact. Ooh, this guy looks nice. I might play him. In. So it's got destruction ability as a counter, and it's called. Well, I can't even pronounce that card. Rise. Rise card, rather. Like I say, I'm really bad with the names. I can't believe this. So we got card there. Uh, and I'm sorry if I jumped there. But. I've just got another ace card in the set. If you can't read that, apologies. That's card gentle and dragon. Yeah, I've just pulled a second ace card. So yeah. I'm very happy with that. Especially that this one compared to the one that's in the deck, if I actually get it shot. Has this extra abilities, which the first one yeah, is to um, play one gauge and put you on top of a uh, the top card of your deck into the soul, which is a normal effect, which is a slight downside compared to the trial deck. And then the Evo effect is exactly the same, I think. I have to double check it, but I think that's the same. But this one has soul guard and double attack. So if you can get the if I can get the secret pack version, which I'm not going to mention in case I do call it, I can do four attacks in one turn, including not excluding the other cards on my side of the field. I just break the pack then. So yeah, that is brilliant. So I'm gonna stop coming on. That's another one that's. Swore has been reprint, uh, reprinted. If I can really talk. Okay. Another one. Ah, and a card that I definitely want for my deck due to I'm not be using it. Go again to a switch mode. It basically allows you to switch. Is that right? Oops, my. Yeah, basically it allows you to activate the GFO effect. Um, again, if you've got another gargantuan mold card in your hand, which is quite good if you only got three of them in your hand. 
as well as switch mode, which means you can do more damage. And if you're stuck and you're like, oh, I, that's all I've got, no other monsters, at least you can do some, a high amount of damage. It's if you're doing the combo on thinking of, and I think I did it in the show, you can attack five times. Oh, you know, all the cards in this um, pack are nearly ancient world, as you can tell. There was only two, only these two were uh, for different worlds. These three were oh, for ancient world. I don't know. Um, this is a language. I don't mean to help no one. Uh, I hope I don't offend anyone, but I can. Uh, I tend to have a slip of the tongue as well as trouble to speak today. And uh, I was hoping not to pull anything like this, but yeah, double there. Uh, members only club dead dead deity. Only myself. So yeah. Don't see what's happened as well. Yeah. Yeah, next time I'm getting the camera out and doing this a little more comfortable. So, let's fight through it. Get some good cards here. And one which I have to laugh because it's supposed to be a dragon, but it's not. It's a cat, and that is God Cat. When this card enters the field, if you have another uh, uh, dirty dragon tribe on the field, put the top card of your deck up into your games and draw a card. So yeah, another draw ability as well as another gauge ability. And trust me, in this game, you need as much draw ability as well as gauge as you can. That's why I like the three level one monsters that he uses in the show. It's I've just pulled Guard Cat, Guard Bird, and Guard Dog. Still hilarious to say. Do I peek out what I've got? And Bushrod, if you're watching, stop reprinting this card. And I've got a card here, it's a triple R for Ancient Worlds, and it's a good one. Bloated Hana. Very nice, another story, it's a heck of a Dragon Share, all, all cards with Dragon Share on the field get the following. So, in other words, so long as it says Dragon Share, you all get this ability. When this card attacks, you gain two life. So, yeah, that is quite good. And just in case anyone who does not understand it, basically, Dragon Share gives all monsters with the word Dragon Share in the description. The same effect. So, in other words, if you've got three monsters on the field plus an item with Dragon Share, they all gain that effect. So that means in a one turn, because it says when you attack, you gain two, four, six, eight life. 
been going up to eight life in one battle. Holy moly. So I'm guessing that card is I have a high price on it due to the fact of how it works. And here's the scary bit. On a 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, one crit, which is not really a bit weak, but and he's a level one. The deck runs around level one cards. So yeah, that's uh, ouchy. But if someone gets that on the field, I might just run one just to have a laugh. And I'm not one of these collectors who are like, oh, I need to get so many of this, so many of that. No. I can run a deck with just commons and a few higher rarities. Not very often. I try to chase down a card. Simple for the fact is, this, uh, the decks, uh, not decks, the set isn't cheap. Nice. I hope you can all see those. And oh my god. Yeah. I have pulled all three aces in one box. Now I'm just checking the box to find out how many aces there are. Yeah, three types. Three types of aces and I've pulled all three in this set. So anyone comment below who actually bought a box of this set, let me know if you have managed to pull all three aces in the set. All is mine. All is mine. <laughs> Strange names. Hmm. I'm not going to spend much time on it. Things will be good, like I said. I'm not that interested. Don't get me wrong, I've got some nice cards, but I'm only sticking to the two, uh, the three decks. I'm not. <coughs> Apologies again, man. Oh, that's a tablet. Like I say, I'm recording on my tablet, so... I get any more weirder? Yeah, that is a weird card. Looks cool, but yeah. It's like they've gone uh, down the Japanese route and looked at all the. Um, oh, what was that game? There was a game made to go with a counter similar looking to that, I can't think of his name. But yeah, it looks like a counter from a video game. No, it's fine. Now, if I start saying stuff and you're like, oh, don't be confused. Trust me, I have that habit. Okay, and I've, I've just got to point this out. This is one thing I hate when I do it. Same card in one pack. The only difference is, this is a shiny version.
and this is why I'm happy with change to realty. So that's my second one. I still haven't pulled my high realty ones. The um, secret pack, so I'm hoping it's on the other side. But I don't want to find out if they've changed. I'm not going to say anything, so I just saw something. So I don't think I came across it, but here. Yeah. Well, here's a. Okay. Oh, it's only a triple there, but it's still nice. Yeah, because usually last time I pulled a secret pack and a body wear. So hopefully they haven't changed it. So I was double checking to make sure that was it. Oops. Shiny version. Because you got common and basically uncommon. This is an uncommon. Uh, the uncommon is basically a shiny. Oh no, it's a bit confusing between this one and Vanguard. And that's the first one of that one. Choice to our decision. If you haven't watched the show, I recommend it because the way they do that impact is actually quite cool. Oh, I think we just pulled it. Yeah, and we have Secret Rare God Cantron Dragon. Secret Gargantuan Dragon Glass Mold and if you can read that I do apologise pay to gauge and put the top card from your deck into a soul which you don't have to do as long as you've got the main monster on the field uh, when this card enters the field for this turn it gets a plus one critical so it goes up to four because it's on a three then if it enters by a G Evo effect, which is the way you guys, I highly recommend someone in. When it's turn, cards attacks cannot be not. This when it's turn, this cards attack cannot be nullified, and its damage cannot be reduced. It it is attacking alone. So basically, you summon that attack twice. They cannot guard against it. So yeah, and that's a you can do four damage, and it has a ten thousand attack, seven thousand defense. That is ouch. This is a grade zero. Protector of Swords Gargina. I think that's how you say it. And for this turn, it cannot be called to the center. Fair enough. Counter, turn your turn, choose another variety dragon tribe from still on the field. And if you pay one life and put this card into the chosen card soul, if you do tap the chosen card, oh, so in other words, you can attack twice. Hmm. 
main weapon on the shelf. Uh, don't know if you can see that very well. I do apologize. Uh, Die to Dragon Sword Guard Mage. Play one game. When this enters the field, it cannot be destroyed by card effect. When this card attacks, you have a Dragon Guard monster on your field. For this turn, this card gets double attack. That's definitely going in the deck. And then third copy, but also this one's a secret. Deity Gardantia Punisher. I just love it. And I'm happy I've got that as a secret pack. But can we pull no secret pack or even a buddy rare? I'm trying not to peek, but sometimes it's hard with these cards. My soul may stick a bit because of the. Yeah, those. Basically got a, a funny texture on the back, so Double Double Shredder Taku Soon nice. Uh, do so, we already know about that. When this card attacks, choose a monster on your opponent's field and pay one gains. If you do, destroy the chosen card. So, only once you can destroy the opponent's card on the field by playing a gains when they attack. Interesting. And you can share that ability. So, yeah, ouch. Shiny version. Oops, yeah, it's all my fun that I've got out. I've got my eyes, if I'm right, for uh, four packs. Ooh. That is a good card. Dynasty Dragon Sword Gargus. No, I think I pronounced that one right. Uh, pay one gain and one life. If you have a Dragon Guard monster on your field, this card and all Dragon Guards on the, your field gets power plus 4000. It cannot be destroyed and the ability cannot be modified by opponent's card effect. That is just nasty. So I've got play set. And that weird card again. Right. So we're down to the last two packs.
happy. I've just bought a tray. I thought I'd have just had to read that. Don't I know a version of Jackknife and I'll probably have to say the best version. Golden Dragon Dragon of Jackknife. Put the put this on top of a monster on your field and play one games. That's a common effect. During this turn, choose up to two cards on your opponent's field and I and drop a soul from this card for each chosen each card chosen. If you do, destroy the chosen card and put the top card of your deck into the games and gain one life for each card destroyed. You may use this ability once per turn. So basically, if you run Jackknife and in Star Dragon World and you stack the cards, you can literally wipe a opponent's field, gain, say, three life. No, even four life. Because I forget about the item. As one well as destroy four items. And it has move and double attack as well as soul guard. So literally you can turn this into one heavy shield. Which you can also use offense. As well as defense. Okay, last pack. Okay, we still didn't get our PR. No, no hit. And I take it back. The artwork on the box isn't from a monster. No, 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 no. It's from a spell card. A triple rare, and I've got it right here in my hand, and it is Dragon God's Shrine. That artwork is beautiful. And I'm just going to hold it here to read the effect, so I can't do it for the camera. Choose, no, cast cost, pay one gauge. No, not gauge, life, pay one life. Sorry, choose and use one of following two. You may cast only. You can may only cast dragon shrine once per turn. Put up to one dragon, dirty dragon shrine item from your deck to your hand and shuffle your deck. Put up to two dirty dragon shrine. Sorry, I'm not fast at reading so good. Um. So two Dirty Dragon Tribe monsters with different card names from your drop zone into your hand. So basically, if you're running, mon running out of monsters, you can literally pay a life to add two from your drop zone, which this doesn't, so it, as long as it's a Dirty Dragon Tribe, which there's plenty of good ones, or an item turn to your hand if you haven't got an item and not only that it will it's a low trade and it says choose and use one of the following two so yeah that is a good card and that is the end of the video yeah thank you for watching if you if you enjoyed this please hit the like Subscribe if you want to see more and please comment below if you do want to see more box openings like this.
and hit the bell so you know when I'm going go, uh, posting a video or going live because I might do some live recordings so anyway this is Andy M signing off